We live in a world where all kinds of things are going on. A lot of ups and downs in the world. But we can't let our minds go up and down with those things. Otherwise we get knocked off balance. This is where we have to meditate. We need to find a place to place our minds as not in the world. We're here where we can see the world and interact with the world, but we want to have a spot that's not quite in the world. Otherwise you get sucked into gain and loss, status, loss of status, praise and criticism, pleasure, pain. These things go spinning around all the time. And if you go spinning around with them, you lose your sense of balance. And as they go up and down, you want to be able to see that okay, they're going up and down, but you don't go up and down with them. That way you maintain a sense of what's right and what's wrong. It's very clear. You may not be able to change the ways of the world, but you can change your ways. And that's where all the good things in life start. If we wait for other people to be good to us before we're good to them, the world would have been falling apart a long time ago. The goodness has to start with us. And any bad things that get sent our way, we just let them drop right there. We don't pass them on to other people. In other words, people say unpleasant things to us. We don't turn around and say something unpleasant to somebody else down the line. They do unpleasant things to us. We don't pass that down the line. We just let it drop right there on the ground. We don't pick it up, and that's, that's the end of the problem. So but the problem is when people hand things on to us, that sometimes it looks like food. Sometimes it looks like something really good that you want to take in. And this is why you have to feed yourself well with a meditation so you don't get deluded into taking, taking into your things that are going to be turn, turn out to be poisonous later on. So try to get a sense of solidity right here, a sense of nourishment right here. That way you can live in the world and not fall into the ways of the world. You can use the things of the world for, to your true well-being, for your true well-being, for the true well-being of others, and then you can let them go. You don't have to hang on to them, because they're going to get ripped from your hands anyhow. So use them well. Pass the good things along to other people. That becomes part of your goodness, too. And that's a goodness that's not of the world. It's something that's ensconced in your heart. And that's where it's really safe.